there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this phone burner power dialer demo. My name is Jeff Osnes, and before we dive into the demo, I want to ask you a quick question. Have you ever been able to dial more than 30 phone calls in about 30 minutes? I would venture to guess that the answer is no. Most people, it would take them almost two hours to complete those phone calls. If you look on the screen here, you're seeing the summary window of a dial session that lasted 32 minutes, 33 contacts were called, 11 conversations were had, 29 emails were sent, and 15 voicemails were dropped, saving an estimated 50 minutes of time in one session. But how can you take advantage of the power of phone burner? Let's rewind, go back in time, and I'll show you exactly how you can take advantage of the tools in Phone Burner so that you can start smiling and dialing and getting more done in less time. Okay, so here we are back in Phone Burner. Phone Burner has a basic CRM to help us manage and organize and follow up with our prospects. We use a folder system. You'll see this on the left hand side folders to help us organize and keep track of our contacts or prospects or leads, whatever you like to call them. Below our folders, we have what are called saved searches. Saved searches are like dynamic folders. They help us create a process of following up and working through our data. For example, I've got this first call saved search. This first call saved search is giving me a list of everybody I have yet to call. Today's follow-up calls will give me a list of everybody that I need to follow up with today. My leads to call will give me a list of everybody that I need to continue to call to try to connect with and either book a demo or schedule a follow-up call or set up a trial with or whatever it is that I am calling these prospects or contacts about. Now, because the way prospecting works for every organization and every individual, you might have different processes that you want to follow, how often you want to call your contacts, when you want to follow up with them, who needs to be called. Maybe you have multiple lists, right? So you're going to have these different processes for you and your team. And so the system allows you to create these saved searches on your own. You'll be able to use the advanced search feature built into Phone Burner to create your own saved searches using any number of criteria from your account. The more and more you work your data, the more information you're going to have about your contacts. And when you're looking at a list of contacts, you're going to want to see different pieces of information. So for example, if I go to my follow-up folder, what I want to see here is like my last note and when the follow-up date is set for. If I go to my leads to call save search, I'm not necessarily interested in a follow-up date since most of them, if not all of them, shouldn't even have a follow-up date, right? These are the people I haven't connected with. So when I'm looking at this list, I may be more interested in the last time they were called as opposed to when my next scheduled follow-up is with them. So we can build what are called custom layouts and we can assign those layouts to different folders and save searches to save us time as we're glancing through our data and deciding who we want to call right now. One other tool that we may want to take advantage of within the contact manager is the ability to sort contacts based off of a specific criteria. So once we've generated the list, we can go to the upper right hand corner here and we can go to the sorting option and choose one of the many options that we have listed here. One of my favorites is the sort by last call. If I choose this, this will allow me to sort my contacts based off the last time they were called using Phone Burner. I can reverse the order so I have highest to lowest or lowest to highest. In this particular case, I have it lowest to highest. That means the contacts where it's been the longest since they were last called are at the top of my list. And the ones that have most recently been called get pushed down to the bottom of my list. Now, once I've identified exactly who I want to call, all I need to do now is begin a dial session. So I can then go over and select the records that I want to call and hit the begin dial session button. That'll pop up our dial session window where we can choose if we want to have a phone script up on the screen while we're making calls. We can choose the voicemail that we may want to drop as we're making calls. Let's say, for example, I'm making calls on Monday, so I might want to use my Monday follow-up voicemail. And the next two options that you see right now are the dialing and live answer sets. These sets 
are specific to the buttons that we're going to see on the screen as we're making calls. You can create multiple sets of buttons to help you better manage and organize your data. We'll talk about these even more when we get into the actual dialing part of the call. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And now I just need to get my phone connected to the system. One of the great things about phone burner is that it does not require any special equipment. It'll work with your existing phone and your existing computer. And the way the two are connected is with a simple phone call. So I'm going to take this phone number and I'm going to call this number using my phone. You're not going to hear that because I'm going to be doing that dialing from a separate phone. Now that I've connected my phone to the phone burner system, I'm ready to start smiling and dialing. So I click on the start dialing button up here at the top. And the system is going to start to feed me contacts from the list that I just selected. Now let's say I'm calling Molly and she doesn't answer. I can click the leave voicemail button and I'm off to the next call. I don't have to listen to the entire greeting. I don't have to wait for the beep. I just click the button and move on. Now I'm calling Tara. Let's say once again it's a voicemail. I click that voicemail button. The system will drop my pre-recorded voicemail and I'm off to the next call. Let's say I'm calling Henry and it rings and rings and rings, doesn't answer. I can click on the no answer button and that'll move me on to the next call. Let's say I get somebody live on the phone. Let's say John Frank's answer, so I click the live answer button. I talk to them like I would anybody else, and when I'm done talking to them, I end the call. At this point, I can take as much time as I want to update my notes. After I put in all my notes here, I might want to click on the Actions button. The Action button has a few options listed in it, and one of those being Schedule a Follow-up. If I click on the Schedule Follow-up, that'll bring up my phone burner calendar where I can then go and set a callback date and time for my contact. I can add a description to the event, update the date and time if I didn't select the correct one when I was choosing the date and time, set a priority, set a reminder. I can also have the system trigger an email to the contact as long as I have an email address for that contact that will send the details of this event to John Frank so that he has that information in an email that goes out automatically. Then I can go ahead and save changes. Once I save those changes, you'll see that that appointment is now on my calendar. Now before we close this calendar, I do want to point out that the phone burner calendar can actually be configured to sync up with your Google Calendar. If you don't have a Google Calendar, that's fine. Any event that you create in PhoneBurner can be exported to an Outlook, iCalendar, or Google Calendar on an individual basis as well. So we'll go ahead and close that, and we'll close this window. Once we've made all the updates necessary for this specific record, I'm ready to click on the appropriate disposition. John is interested, so I'm going to mark him as interested, and we'll move on to our next call. So now we're calling Jenny Thompson. Let's say we're calling Jenny and she answers the phone. Just like any other contact, there's no pause, there's no delay, there's no awkward silence. You just start talking to them without any delay. When you're done talking to them, make sure you click on the end call button down here at the bottom. And then once again, we can take as much time as needed to update our notes. Let's say in this particular case, she wants a call back later today, so I update my notes. I can change the follow-up date rather than putting her on my calendar, because I like to reserve my calendar only for specific appointments that have a date and time. If she just wants a follow-up later today, maybe she just gave me the polite blow-off, right? So I come in here and I set the follow-up date to be today's date. And then I mark Jenny as follow-up. And that moves me on to the next call. Now, while we're calling Eric, I want to point out the phone script. If you choose to use a phone script in PhoneBurner, you can build those scripts out so that they're dynamic. So here you can see we've got it set up so that it automatically inserted Eric's name 
and it's putting in Mr. Demo's name in there as well. And it can insert any type of information, whether it's contact information or custom field data, that can all be inserted into the phone script, making it very dynamic so that you or your team, you don't have to bounce around looking at different places to grab information. You can just read the script. Also, I want to point out that these scripts accept HTML source code. So when you're creating a script in PhoneBurner, you can embed HTML source code to really make these scripts sing, so to speak. But let's say we're talking to Eric, have a good conversation with him. So we hit live answer and end the call. So let's say our conversation with Eric ended with us wanting to do a follow-up call with him in the future. Maybe he's like, I'm super busy right now. Give me a call after the holidays. So we make our little note there, go to our custom field here and set a follow-up date in the future. Let's go out into January. And then we mark him as follow-up. That moves us on to, to our next phone call. So now we're calling Sally Johnson. Say Sally doesn't answer. We click on any one of the dispositions down here if it goes to voicemail. We click the leave voicemail button again, right? That's, that's normal. A lot of calls will end up going to voicemail. That's standard. Now let's say we're calling Brock. He doesn't answer, so I mark it as no answer and move on to the next call. And now we're on to Eddie. Let's, let's say Eddie answers the phone. Let's do live answer. Let's end the call. And let's talk about these buttons. The dispositions are all completely configurable. You can create as many dispositions as you'd like. The dispositions are designed to move contacts into different folders to help you automatically organize your contacts based off of the outcome of the call. These dispositions can also be configured to trigger an email. You'll see from the calls that we've made in this quick little demo session, we have sent eight emails and those emails were sent out automatically behind the scenes without me having to do anything other than disposition the call. The dispositions are designed to be a huge time saver for you by automatically adding notes, automatically triggering emails, automatically triggering voicemails, automatically moving contacts into specific folders. So there's a lot that you can do with a single button click as you're going from one call to the next using phone burner to help you make your calls three to four times faster than you would normally. So let's go ahead and mark Eddie Revrunner as not yet interested as opposed to do not call because we might want to call him back later on. So mark him as not interested. That completes our session. We've now called everybody that was on our list. We saved 14 minutes and we can close our dial session window. Now let's take a look at our leads to call list. If I click on that, you'll see our list is considerably smaller than it was before. Why? Because our save searches are dynamic. They're taking into account all of the activity, even the most recent activity. Our first call list is still the same. That hasn't changed because we didn't do any calls from that yet. Our contacts folder is only going to contain the contacts that we're continually working through. Our interested folder now has Johnny Franks in there because he's the one we marked as interested. Our follow-up folder has some additional contacts that have been added from our dial session today. Not interested, there we see Eddie, he's not interested. He's still in our system so we can come back and work Eddie again later on if we would like, but in general, he's gonna be in that not interested folder until we decide to do something with him. And then if we go to our today's follow-up call save search, we'll see a list of everybody that has a follow-up call scheduled for today, as opposed to all contacts that are in the follow-up folder. So here we can see we've got four contacts that need a follow-up call today, and at the end of the day, I can just select all and begin a dial session and run through that list to try to connect with them today. Now that's it for our demo today. But I do want to point out, there is a lot more to the phone burner system than what we've covered today. This was just to give you a good overview, a good idea, a good feel for how phone burner can help you get more done in less time. But once you log into your phone burner account, you can go to the support tab up at the top here. And our support page 
has a lot of information available to you. One, you can call our support team anytime between 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific Time, Monday through Friday. We have our knowledge base where you can search for articles that have been written by our team to help you learn how to use Phone Burner. We've got our agent quick start and admin quick start training modules. These are training modules, lesson based, where you can kind of go through, follow the training, mark it as completed, and then move on. Same with Phone Burner University. Lots of different training modules in the Phone Burner University designed to help you become a Phone Burner Ninja. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo. I hope that this video has helped you see how the power of Phone Burner can start helping you get more done in less time using the magic of the Phone Burner system and power dialer. Have a great day and happy dialing.